Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell. Today we're going to be talking about groups. And groups aren't really a term that's used much in Power BI, uh, but groups are actually a very handy tool that we can use to be able to visualize data in a cool way. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, looking at the tables on the left, we have our customers table, our products table, and our sales table, pretty easy. Uh, Everything's joined around sales. Um, let's go ahead and dive into groups. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to use some DAX to figure out what day of the week these sales occurred on. So if we look at our table, we have our sales data and we have our order dates, which um, I'm actually going to make the order date just a date because we don't really care about time. And I'm also going to uh, I'm also going to give it the format of just this year. Um, year, uh, month, day, year format. So we're going to want to actually add a column and this is going to tell us what day of the week it is. And there's a really handy function for that. We're going to call this column, uh, we'll call it day of week. And the function is called weekday. And excuse my intelligence because it for some reason pops up over my typing but I will move out of the way every now and then. Weekday, and we just have to give it order date. So in that function, we have weekday, sales order date, and this will give us the day of the week and a number. And thing you have to know here is the range goes from one to seven. One is Sunday, seven is Saturday. So we know our weekends are values one and seven. So that's good, now that we have that data. All you have to do to make a group is right click on the field we just made and click new group. Right, that's awesome. So in under group type, we need to change this to list. And now here are all of our possible values and we can group them over here. So if you click on one and control click on seven and click group, now we have this group called, that we can call weekends, or we'll call it weekend. And let's go ahead and click on two and shift click to six to select them all and click group and we'll call this week days. Awesome. That's actually all we have to do to set this group. We'll also have another group that contains all ungrouped values, but we have grouped all of the values. So go ahead and click OK. And now we have, let me expand this out a little bit, we have our weekday groups group. That's really cool. And the way we're going to have to visualize this and see it in a cool way is uh, by let's just create a bar chart. Normally, when we put day of week in the, oh, sorry, not day of week, when we put order date in the axis, uh, and we put sales amount in the value and we make this not a hierarchy just the regular order date we see data that looks like this let's go ahead and visualize this a little bit differently go to x-axis and click on categorical so we can see actual daily data uh, this will include include the scroll bar on the bottom but this is just how our normal bar chart would look like and now let's use our group so we can actually see the difference between weekdays and weekends. And all we have to do is take our group and put it in the legend well. And there you go. You can easily see the difference between weekdays and weekends. You can see maybe sales, uh, sales always seem to do pretty well on weekends, a little lower than the, the rest of the week for sure. It looks like, what would this be? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, looks pretty good. Yeah, so it just shows you a big division in your data and it's really easy to do with groups. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.